Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Okay, so this is going to be Pisces Sun, Pisces Moon, and uh, Pisces Rising. Weekly tarot reading May 13th to uh, May 19th, 2019. And uh, bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards. And we can go straight away uh, to the spread. So the first card that we do have for you guys that is going to be the Nine of Swords <clears throat> followed by the second that is going to be the um, the topic of your week. The second card uh, that will be the Queen of Swords which is the challenge uh, that you will have to overcome throughout the week. Furthermore, uh, we do have what helps you there or uh, what is going to be the positivity out of the week that, is, that will be the Five of Wands. And then the last card we do have the four card, which is the um, the guidance that we that the tarot has for you for throughout the week. So once again, nine of swords is the topic, followed by the queen of swords, which is the challenge. Afterwards, we do have the five of uh, the the queen of swords, excuse me, which is the challenge. Afterwards, we do have the five of wands, which is the um, what helps you. And the last one that will be the four card, which is the guidance. All right, so uh, it seems that you are going to uh, confront a person that comes intimidating to you for one or another reason. That could be a coworker, it could be a, a someone into your social circle or just your neighbor as well. A, a person who, until this very moment, you know, they're kind of like slumbering you beneath their toe. Um, and enough is enough, you can't stand it anymore, so you finally make your stand. So this is what the week is going to be all about, you making your stand. In some of the cases, um, that could be a cooperation where you think that without this person, for example, without your mother, all right, uh, you will not persevere through life. And uh, this week, it is where you will actually find out uh, probably without her, you are going to be much better, all right? It just depends what your situation is. But the thing with the Nine of Swords is that this week you're going to confront your fears. It is all about what the Nine of Swords is. Uh, basically, you are thinking of the, uh, of the consequences of your actions in a very exaggerated state, actually. Uh, or this person, Queen of Swords, well, the first couple of cards are very tightly connected. So uh, the Queen of Swords itself making you, making, is making you thinking that, uh, you know, you're... Uh, if you don't follow her advice, for example, or her guidance, or, you know, if you don't follow her leads, uh, you're going to fail. And that's not the case. So uh, this week, you are, it is the week where you confront and uh, dispute, okay, this, uh, this statement of, uh, of life. And you doing so, Pisces, are going to reach to the... Um, to the root of the matters, okay? Finding that this isn't actually true, okay? 
and uh, finding that these fears that you do had of detaching yourself from uh, this person and moving along on your own are actually fears in vain. In reality, there is nothing for you to, to be afraid of. Um, and uh, th these feelings of fear, they have been artificially planted in your life. That could as well express a, uh, a, a, a fear of being left alone. Uh, how can I place it? So let's say that you are into this very dysfunctional relationship, but your partner, either male or female, it doesn't matter, holds you there, uh, planting those fears that without them you are nothing. Because you will be amazed how many people there are in this world which are in such position. You confronting those fears, and that is just an example, right? You confronting those fears is going to give you a, a huge edge here, and you will see that actually they are nothing without you. It is not the, the, the other way around, okay? The accompanied card here, that is going to be the Tree of uh, Pentacles. The formation, it is a uh, active uh, enemies, and we're definitely talking about severing ties with a person, with someone who is seemingly supporting you through your development but in the same time they are giving you unproductive criticism and uh, how can i place it i don't want to say it that way but for the lack of better terms i will use they're using you for their ends either for their emotional satisfaction, for their physical satisfaction, for their material satisfaction, or just for their growth satisfaction as well. Because that could be uh, the coworker into your career that works nothing, they just cannot do anything right, right? But because they are very manipulative, they're making you do what, uh, uh, making you do their job and then they're making you feeling grateful for the opportunity for you to do so, right? And you, there are so many people like that. Now that I think of, man, I mean, it's just when I was working back in the days, full-time job um, in an engineering field, I could think of a couple of these that present themselves very capable and uh, that kind of like make the things in such a way to look in such a way that you are feeling blessed to help them while in reality they they don't do shit i mean they they're worse than a kid than a, than a child in what they're doing I don't understand the matter and that is just a uh, an example once again so yeah it's it's kind of like uh, for you pisces it is what it is the realization or the insight that um i i don't want to say you have been used but more like it's that's um <clears throat> you're um you're carrying someone and this someone makes it look like that they're carrying you but we do have a um, uh, a child stare here for the uh, for this kind of uh, for this kind of situation in my country, um, the fox and the wolf, where they got beaten, all right. But the fox is um, uh, the fox kind of like escaped from uh, from the uh, from the fight, and then it, it, it it's the fox spilled floor on her head and then trick the, the wolf to think that this is her brain and make the wolf carry to carry her to her home while the wolf was beaten almost to death and she was always saying you know oh uh what what was the what was the sentence here um you you healthy is caring or something like that you know you healthy is caring you healthy is caring <clears throat> So yeah, it's it, it's a trickery what it is happening around you. So do not be, get impressed of uh, the so-called amazing performance of someone because that performance is not their deed. It's your deed. And that is the person, Queen of Swords, the master of manipulation, the, the one who has that uh, vast experience of uh, how to boss people around if i may say that well well it's not exactly bossing people around but let's say that she knows how to make things happen she knows how to push their her things through through other people <clears throat> 
Now the Queen does not uh, twist fictions as facts, the, the Queen sticks to the truth, but in the same time the Queen does not share the whole truth, only what you need to know. <clears throat> so um, you have to, well I don't need to repeat myself here guys, that you need to believe that you, that you can't push your things alone or if this is a, about your uh, your relationship here all right and that is your partner which is making you think that you uh, cannot persevere in life without them and that you're nothing without them well you will have to you will need to have a, a bigger uh, self-confidence than that the accompanied card here that will be the um, five of pentacles and so the combo that we do have, it is the active uh, enemies. And uh, it's a very good combo actually in your case because it does point that uh, this person is going to reveal himself for how much they're worth. Uh, it's because uh, it does look like that there are gonna be, uh, they will face, that person is going to face here throughout the week, a lot of, uh, a lot of trifles in, uh, in many ways, in, in many, in many fields, excuse me, and these lot of trifles are gonna make them uh, <clears throat> act uh, erratically. They're gonna they're gonna make them act like um, frantically as well, and that is going to um, make you see what their true nature is, and finally realizing that they're nothing what you have thought they were, and uh, you will have to overcome that person in a sense of you know severing ties with them i mean they will try to um intimidate you this is their game they will not try to trick you what <clears throat> the cards which which tricks in tarot are uh page of swords and the uh, and the king of swords these the uh the knight of swords and the queen of swords they intimidate this is how they uh, manipulate people through intimidation so do not get intimidated it is my point and what helps you throughout the week guys that is going to be the five of uh, the five of wands so five of wands here points that you will have no problem conf confronting that is the first thing Five of Wands, it does point, well, it's very difficult to explain it here as a follow-up, but Five of Wands does point that uh, you will start to see that into your uh, into your ideas of life or kind of like into your strategies of moving on forward, either regarding career or relationship, there is nothing wrong with them. While previously that person made it look like that there is everything wrong in them, right? And in other words, you're going to realize that you are strong enough on your own. This card points that there are going to be a lot of surprises throughout the week and a lot of turnarounds which will help you see what that person for what they truly are, right? And that will make you uh, free, that will liberate you from this, uh, from these, these strings that you do have with either that coworker, this uh, wife or a husband, you know, that friend or etc, etc. Five of Swords, it's, it's also points that you, uh, as soon as you do so, as soon, as soon as you sever those ties, then you can actually traverse a lot of uh, failures that you are considering those situations, failures into your life, into a, a productive and as well beneficial situations. The accompanied card that is going to be the uh, Knights of Cups here, the formation, it is a active, uh, active enemies. So uh, I, I kind of like a, a very neutral, uh, very neutral combo it is what we do have here. That is due to the fact that um, what also going to help you with uh, the Knights of Cups is that you will find out that actually until this very moment, you are in a uh, very arid place that there are so many more things that you could have done, you know, and so many more things that you liked. Well, that, that, well this situation is no different that, uh, than a, a situation in between mother and a child where the mother is despondent. It, it, it's tyrannical over the child, you know. The mother says to the child what the child should like, what the child should follow as a profession, what the child should study, you know, and so on and so forth. And it doesn't, it doesn't allow the child to experience the life in its full glory, you know, in its full color. And once the child is... Uh, separated from the mother either because you know the father does that or either because the child becomes a um, 
uh, on age, you know, 21 in the United States and go to the university, they discover life, all right? They find out how many much, how many much exhilarating things are there. And it is what you're gonna, you're gonna do. I mean, you are going to uh, find out as soon as you sever ties with that person, you will see how much more colorful life is. And uh, at that point, you may have a difficult time, you know, choosing which activity you to perform in after uh, afterhand. But uh, you know, the one has so much time, so choose um, choose carefully. And lastly, we do have uh, the full card, which is the guidance for you. And guidance-wise, the full uh, asks you to. Uh, to try from everything, not to hold on to your dreams, all right, Pisces? Just allow your dreams or your ideas, that is, to have a room for manifestation. Now, I'm not saying that this week um, is going to be a week where you are going to manifest everything you want, but the car itself urges you not to give up on what you want thing, especially after you no longer have that restriction which this person it is uh, it is exerting uh, in your life so the full card urges you to think to uh, to uh, excuse me to look toward the bright future and take the leap of faith toward it urges you to be very detached in regards to um responsibility so whatever you do throughout the week after you sever ties with this person do not take obligatories there do not promise anything but just experience it as a, a one child would experience it okay be light-hearted be detached you know and and just be spontaneous when it comes to emotional expression but the four in the grand scheme of things uh, as a uh, guidance here points you that from now on your uh, bravest dreams can come true in the long run that is not in this week but in the long run all right you do have the freedom to uh, to achieve them and uh, this freedom it is yours to guard it is yours to fight for so uh, to me this card in this position says that you should not allow anybody to oppress such an influence in your life any longer and the accompanied card here that will be the seven of pentacles so the formation that we do have it is a active uh, active enemies, and um, I'd simply uh, what this uh, what this combo uh, finally is saying here is that there is no more time for waiting, or there should not uh, there shouldn't be any more time for waiting. Now is the time to live. Now is the time to experience good things in life. I mean, when you are going to experience good things in life, when you turn 80, when you turn 90, maybe. So now is the time to, to experience joy in life. So uh, do not be afraid, you know, to, uh, to ask from, from your life to be happy. It is what I'm trying to say. Or do not be afraid to, uh, to walk toward your happiness. Here. If you didn't do that beforehand, it is because that person clouded the vision of yourself what is going to make you happy or for some reason convinced you that what you want is not going to make you happy. Well, you will see that that's not the case. So there is no more time for you to waste, but just, you know, gather up your things and uh, take the leap of faith toward your dream and toward your goal as you no longer are gonna have these restrictions or that burden you will have to carry. So that being said, Pisces, this was your weekly tarot reading for um, May 13th to uh, May 19th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and uh, we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.